My name is Mike Dowling. I'm the president and the CEO of Northwell Health, and um, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here. Uh, this is an extraordinary group of people from diverse backgrounds, diverse industries, all of course connected to the healthcare space. And we're looking forward to a wonderful day of sharing information, listening to one another, getting new ideas, figuring out how to get better, figuring out how to continue to partner, to innovate, to improve. Innovation is all about, as you all know, trying to figure out how do we do better tomorrow than we did today, and how we do better next week than we did this week. And we can only do that when we share information across disciplines, across industries, to bring the best ideas forward so that we can improve care for people that we serve and the community at large. So just for those of you that do not know or may not know, let me just spend one minute talking about um, Northwell Health. Um, we are the largest provider of healthcare in New York State. And we today have 23 hospitals, about 750 outpatient ambulatory facilities, uh, the full continuum of care, including home care, primary care, end of life care, post acute care. We are also uh, one of the United States' largest academic teaching centers with uh, 1,800 residents and fellows. Very innovative medical school, very innovative nursing and PA school, PhD school. Major research entity called the Feinstein. You will hear more about them and from them later today. We have about 4,000 people in our health system uh, doing research. Uh, we have a for-profit part of our organization that works with other companies uh, to share information, obviously invest in other companies, partner with other companies. Uh, we are very, very involved in the community, do an extensive amount in the community, help those facilities and others in the area that are less fortunate than we are. Because the mission part of our organization is extremely, extremely important. It's what in many ways distinguishes us, I think, from many, many others. Uh, today also we're the largest employer in New York State. We have just surpassed 70,000 employees. Our total revenue is getting close to 13 billion. And more importantly, from our point of view, and one of the reasons we have these meetings is that we have a culture of teamwork, collaboration, entrepreneurship, creativity. We like to break the rules. We like to do things differently. We like on occasion to ask for forgiveness, not permission. And we love to partner with others and to bring people together so we all can collectively do a better job than we're doing today. So I just want to say a special thanks uh, to all of the discussion leaders and the speakers today. We thank you all for being here. We do have some other people arriving a little bit later because of the weather yesterday. We did get a number of people who got caught at airports that were not able to get here last night. So we will have some other people joining us this morning. And uh, one or two last points. Uh, for those of us involved in healthcare, which is pretty much everybody in this room, we should feel very, very privileged to work in a business that spends its days and weeks and months figuring out how to improve lives, the lives of others, how to cure disease, how to prevent it, how to deal with illness treatment as well as the social determinants of health, how we deal with the downstream part of healthcare and the upstream part of healthcare. And we should be unbelievably proud of what has been accomplished. Because all of us, if you look back over the last 40 to 50 years, and we look at the advances in healthcare, is pretty extraordinary. You can all think of the things that we can do today that we couldn't even conceive of doing 30, 40 years ago. It's an extraordinary history of achievement. And it's important to keep this in mind at a time when we suffer from an avalanche of negativity about healthcare, where everybody is always complaining about what's wrong, about what's, what's not working 
Oh, and sure, we can all here argue about what's not working perfectly, but sometimes if we only focus on that, we miss the point of what is actually working very, very well. We have made extraordinary progress in saving lives and doing things over the last 40 to 50 years. But the future is full of possibilities. The future is extraordinarily bright. And it is important, therefore, to have a very optimistic attitude about the possibilities, what we can achieve, building upon the foundation of extraordinary success, fixing that which is wrong, but pursuing new discoveries so we can treat people in a better way in the future. So I'm not one of those who believes, uh, looks at the lens of healthcare through, uh, through the, 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 the lens of pessimism. I'm optimistic about healthcare. I think we're all very, very fortunate to be in it. And when I meet with all new employees that we bring into our healthcare system every Monday morning, we bring into our healthcare system every Monday morning about 200 people. We do this every week. I meet with all new employees and I constantly tell them about, I only want them to be with us if they want to be in healthcare. And I want them to be thinking about what's possible. I remind them as we should all ever so often remind ourselves that whenever we're having a bad moment or a bad day or a bad week, all we have to do is walk around an ICU in a hospital or an emergency room in a hospital and observe and realize how fortunate we all are. And also remind ourselves that at some point or another, we will, always, we will also be patients at some point. So what kind of a system do we want to treat us when we will eventually be there? This is something we've got to personalize. And the last speaker today uh, is a patient. She will tell her story. And it's important as, as we listen to that and as we have our discussions between now and then to remind ourselves that that's what it's all about. How do we collectively do a better job and an improved job to make sure that people like her and others and all the tens of thousands and millions of people out there are better cared for in the future. It's all about the patient and the community member and the community at large. If what we do doesn't help that, we've got to ask ourselves what we're doing. So with that, I want to again welcome you. And this is our second meeting like this. We did the first one last year, which was quite successful. And um, we thank you again, as I mentioned at the beginning, for you being here. We got great talent in the room. If we can mine all this talent, bring it all together, work together, we can solve anything. And we can avoid the possibility, by working together, we can avoid the possibility to have government do things that would only make, like thing, like, only make things worse in the long run. We've got to work with government, and I spent a lot of time in government. We've got to work with them, as I said, but we've got to make sure that if we don't figure out how to partner and work together, government will do things that none of us will like. And in my view, the public will be less served. It's our challenge, it's our opportunity. So I look forward to the meeting, look forward to the discussion. Again, thank you. Um, it's a pleasure and humbling to be in the midst of such bright minds as are in this room. And again, let me now hand it over to Ramon Soto and we'll begin the program. So again, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Thank you.